Many thanks again for joining me. <clears throat> Quickly wish through the colours before I start. I've got Ultramarine, Cad Yellow, Payne's Grey, Lizarin Crimson, Raw Sienna, Burnt Umber, Light Red. Using a large one Ransom Ake and 15 by 11 watercolour paper. And start this off. Clear water all over the paper using a big brush. I'm going to get a little bit of yellow, raw sienna. Pop some of that about. Something like that. Bring the brush. Let's go into some ultramarine. They were quite high rise and light now, so. Gets sort of light area down the centre, so let's just brush it in from either side. So I'm just going to introduce, I'm going to get a little bit darker. I'm just going to introduce a bit of Payne's Grey into this mix. Payne's Grey, Ultramarine. Push that in there, a bit more Payne's Grey. Lizard in crimson into this mix. Lizard in crimson, more paint grey. Just got a few little clouds up there. Not a lot, just enough. And just cutting across there, that, that light area. More lizard in, a bit more paint grey. Put some over on this side as well. For that. Then what I'm going to do is put the horizon line in. So I'm going ultramarine, Payne's grey, lizarding, nice and dark. Horizon right up there, quite high, like I said, this time. All the way across. Some banks coming in. Touch more water. Paper's brush got a little bit dry, so. darker, silhouetted a bit better. Just put that over. Look in this side as well. More lizard, a bit more pain's grey. Gonna strengthen that a little bit. Just get this horizon line a little bit darker, I think. Just silhouette it a bit better. Looks a bit more dramatic like that. Just dip the corner of the brush in just to loosen the paint a little bit better. Right. Let's just 
pull that paper and stretch a little bit. So I'm just going to pull it tight against this board so it's flat against the easel. <coughs> and then I think I'll just give that a bit dry. boats in there so I'm going to switch to my little flat brush this one just this little flat brush there and I'm going into those same dark colours I'm just going ultramarine Payne's grey bit of a lizard but nice and dark a bit more water a bit dry Right, let's put some boats in, so I'm going to go about there. And the reflection. I'm going to put the mast in. Just above that land, so that it stands out. Put that reflection there, and then stick another one in. Have another one. Put the mast up again. Just push this one above, above that land, so you can see something like so. Stick another one in. Um, put the reflection down. And stick the mast in again. So again, it's just going. This one's slightly closer, and this one's slightly bigger. So the reflection comes down just a little bit more. Now they're a bit close together, I'm going to try and pop some up in there. I'm just going to stick. One. Probably a little bit bigger than what I meant to do it, but that's the word. There's a big mast up there. And then there like that. And then what I'm gonna do is just pretend I can't quite see, I'm just going to pretend there's a few more boats behind. Stick a few little mats up. Some birds up there in the sky. One, two, three. I think I'm going to call that one done. So just stick my name down in the corner and let's see what that looks like with the main side. So there's the finished painting in the main side. Let's have a closer look at it. 
So I began with the sky, started with this lighter area there which was a bit of raw sienna, a little bit of cad yellow which I brought all the way down the bottom of the paper. Then started introducing a bit of ultramarine. Added a bit of Payne's grey as well to get that sort of darker blue look. Then we got a bit of alizarin crimson and Payne's grey to create a few clouds, a few more over here on the left hand side. So once the painting was dry it was time then to put in this distant land and I did this in two stages. First put it in while the paper was still a little bit damp. Or did I dry it? To be honest, actually I think did I, I think I dried it, didn't I? But what, what I'm saying in two stages, you can see just behind there, the first light I put in, it was it didn't come off, it was still tonally, it was quite light or lighter than I wanted. And then I had to sort of dry it. Well as it was drying then, or virtually dried on its own, I then put a next second layer on. You can see how much darker it gets. So we've got two layers there to create that sort of depth of tone. Bit of it brushed into the water area there to create some sort of shadowy sections. And then I started putting the boats in nice and dark so they were silhouetted against this um, sunset. Not forgetting the reflections below. And I tried to avoid putting them all equally spaced as well. So I'm trying randomise the uh, the distance between the boats and also some of the boats you can't actually see so I just put the masts behind and then finally our little birds there flying over the harbour. So that's it for this one, I hope you enjoy that. Remember you can catch me over on Patreon if you want to watch more videos you'll see the link in the description. All the paintings are for sale on eBay again, link in the description. So until next time keep practising any questions please ask and I'll see you again soon.